I like to think that I'm a decent tennis player, but I'm 28 years old, so you may think my best years are behind me. Incorrect! Tennis all-time greats Roger Federer and Serena Williams are in their mid-30s, and Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, Venus Williams are also in their 30s. So actually, I got time. Professional tennis players are clearly getting older. Why is that? There's so many different things that have happened in the last 15 years. The, the technology, the rackets have changed, which to be quite honest, makes it easier to play as you get a little older. The nutrition has changed, the, the fitness has changed. Mark Ardizzone has been the head coach of the DePaul University women's team program for more than 20 years. His coaching has led the Division I squad to reach the NCAA championship four times in the past eight years. The game of tennis hasn't really changed. There may be a little bit of tactics and style, but uh, it's all the stuff surrounding the sport that has changed and it's kind of led to this unbelievable golden age of all these great players that are now in the 30s. The aging trend is not restricted to a few elite players. It's widespread and happening both in men's and women's tennis. The Economist calculated that from 1990 to 2017, the average age of the top 100 tennis players increased from 25 to 29 on the men's side and from 23 to 26 on the women's side. Tennis is also at a golden age when it comes to prize money, when it comes to sponsorship. Mama said knock you out. When you have that much money available to you, you can afford to pay for a big team, yeah. physiotherapist, nutritionist, coach, assistant coach. And maybe that's one of the reasons why they stay at the top. I think once you win and you get to be number one, when you have the physio, the coach, the trainer, the assistant, the entourage with you to keep you at that level, to kind of keep pushing you to go forward a little bit. That's where I think the longevity and the, the maintaining power comes from. When you were Serena Williams, Rafael Nadal, Roger Federer, you have won so many Grand Slams. You lose the first set six love. Who cares? You have nothing to prove anymore. They can handle the, the bad things yeah. much more. You know, you lose a set or a crowd or a bad call or something, whereas the younger players can let that really affect them. The, the older players tend to let things kind of roll off them a little better. They just understand it's, it's, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Just like you want to win, just like you at the US Open. The champions just, maybe they want it a little more. Yeah. And you know, and if Serena wants it a little more, and if Roger wants it a little more, it's just, you know, some kids are taking their shot at those guys on a one day. Millman can beat Roger on one day, but he's not going to beat him nine out of ten times, you know. It's a great era, and I hope that's what people really take from it, is that we're getting something special here. Enjoy it while it's here.